Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Back from my two week break, I assume. The deed is done. Cornell is no more. It's so funny. Such a pity That's Cornell. That the Brotherhood of Light, the order um, to which we both belong, should also be the reason why the world is in such chaos. Gabriel, you have proven your worth, my friend. You have a piece of the gods. So yeah, back. Mask. Got a new haircut. It and is everything. said this relic can bring back. My the clothes dead. are black now. It is said this relic can bestow power beyond any man's reckoning. Now, with the help of the old god, he heads toward the land of the vampires and further into the heart of darkness. Conceptually, I like the idea of the land of vampires. Like, as you know. If there was a state that was a land of vampires, I wonder which one it would be. The, the United pass. States. The land of the vampires lies beyond those hills. A powerful witch protects this domain. I can go no further. Who are you? And why do you help me? You may think I am helping you, but you would be The wrong. Eagles have their own yada yada blah blah blah. One. We've heard it all before. You we know. Well Get out of here. To remember that. The only thing I've ever met more feathery than my hair. It's a terrible accent. Sorry, everyone. My wife thinks it was good, guys. You also haven't heard Gabriel Belmont's accent, though. And now I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure you never do, so you can never confirm that it was a bad accent. <laughs> That's a good-looking castle. Look. You go to Olive Garden, you get the breadsticks. You go to Castlevania, it's gonna be a castle. You know? IO, open and shut. Simple business. Okay, I remember that. I have. Yeah. I have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, for whatever reason, like, grab is used. I guess it's fine, but... Uh, evil exists here. Insidious evil. Uh, there's an ogre in the castle. The childhood stories are true. They're slow and ponderous when attacking. I need something that allows me to run fast and move quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got those things. Uh, yeah, these. Uh, activate shadow magic, and then hold LT. Okay. Interesting. Let's lab this then. Okay, yeah, so we just get Cornell's quick dash. Oh, but it has to proc. Yeah, it has to pop. Because otherwise you just get a normal roll, see? And I imagine that that does damage. Interesting. Cool. The input being double tap is a little wonky. I also feel like I can't actually steer. I like the way that the camera pulled in there. Life gem. Cool. Love it. I feel like I could whip through a, uh, a barrel quicker than that. That was like a normal whip, but Castlevania really has a normal whip. It's more like a flail, you know? Like, they call it a whip, but like, a weapon that is made of chain and has a weight on the other end is like, supposed to be a flail, isn't it? God damn you. Gabrielle. Like, I, I guess it's like a, a, a grandfathered thing, you know? God, that was so bloody. But yeah, like, they call it a whip in Castlevania 1.
And then, like, it's irrelevant if it is a whip or not afterwards, because they called it a whip, you know? It's one of those things. But you upgrade it to a chain whip, like, in Castlevania 1. In a weird way, it's like a... The whip upgrade mechanic is so weird and nonsensical in Castlevania 1, I feel. Maybe I can break this wall down, it says. Oh, a box. Gimme. This feels like real. Quick, coward out, Gabriel. So. Duh. Shadow magic. Oh, and because it refills me, that means that it doesn't matter that I spent my shadow magic on that. Clever, clever. Is there, like, a good compilation of every single Dracula sprite? Someone posted a shot of uh, Circle of the Moon Dracula, and I was like... Like, it's cool, and I really want to look at it compared to all the other Dracs. So we feared it's, uh... Fortress is overrun by evil forces. A bird-like creature has made the tower her nest, and a huge monster roams the castle walls, protecting it. I heard nothing from the other night, so I'll assume the worst and try to return to inform them that shit's fucked. All right, let's get on up. Oh, man. The length of this chain seems insane sometimes. Like, it seems highly variable. Like, I know that, like, this is a Castlevania game, and the whips are very famously very variable weapons. Oh, like a, like a ogre ogre. Uh, okay, word. a relatively good amount of fairies. Rut row. Dude, for real? We paid for Patrick Stewart. You'll hear him, damn you. I know I did that joke, but... An enormous monster appeared upon the other side of the wall. Oh. That's interesting. I had noticed all of those. This feels good. This feels so good. Man. This game is so solid. Just give me a little slurp of health. Thank you. Like, maybe I'm not a giant, but I don't know if something that small hurting me would, like, make me drop something. Damn. And again, he's, he's getting it in there pretty good. 
savagely beating. Look, that's fine. I can mash with the best of them, Konami. You don't have to worry shit about me. That was kind of cute. I like that. He's like, whoop. Ooh, that feels clean. That feels really good. Okay, keep walking. Maybe he didn't see me. Maybe he didn't notice me. Maybe it'll be fine. Ugh, does he think he knows me or something? Don't worry, guys. I've played a video game before. Ogre. It's a giant and it's high. Uh, the Anubian giants are an ancient species old as the earth. What? This ogre is the last of his race. He lives among the walls of this mountain fortress, waiting for misguided travelers to stumble in so he can grind their bones to make his bread. Uh, he hasn't had man flesh for some time, having to settle for a cave troll. They have a keen sense of smell and can snip a man from half a mile away, making them successful trackers. Big deal, so can I. Look at all the axe. Or links for you in the UK. Their size and clumsy nature means that their prey can often see them coming. Yes. Drink. <laughs> wow. I got proper smashed there. Latinized. <laughs> I feel like it should leave a little, like, Belmont-shaped hole in the ground, like a wily e. Coyote, you know? <laughs> this, is a, this was a halfway decent era for Konami. Like, this was about the time that Revengeance came out. Silent Hill Downpour had just come out, and like, fuck, it was better than Homecoming. Oh, that's a grab point. I can grab. Like, it's not good, but it's better than Homecoming. Like, the responses to um, Silent Hill Downpour are pretty unanimous in that, like, hey, it's not good, but it's not Homecoming, so whatever. Poke desire like Ender, uh, like Ender Wigan. I vibe with that. Okay, note to self: you do not get iframes on your uh, DT pop. DT short for Devil Trigger, a commonly used like power up in Devil May Cry, which is the basis for a lot of this game, along with you know the other ones that I mentioned. Got like. It's weird because, like, hey, two-week break, you know? People might not know, but, like, I try to make my LPs in a manner where you could, like, binge-watch them later. And, like, you've heard me say all of these things many times before. If you're binge-watching it. Yeah, get in there. Get in there, Gabriel Belmont. Oh man, we're gonna do the other eye. <laughs> no, how could we have how could Ogre have seen this coming? Not quite the old hero, but hey, what is? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, 
Oh, look at it. Uh, you can't see it, actually. Give me a sec here. Check this out. I'm getting my ass kicked now that I'm doing this, but his, his, his the eyes on his health bar flicker. All right, let's put myself back up here. I'm doing this, like A-OK. -okay. Should I be doing something? Like, I've been loath to stay over here because, like, all the magic juice is over there. But do I need to come over here for- Oh, the spike, doy. And he head tracks you a little bit. That's not bad. That's smart. I like that. Black blood also. Finally. I've killed the last living member of this species. Now to do a cool little trick with my whip. In traditional Belmont fashion. Oh, dude, look at the way that his, his boots glow. So radical. The names, I don't, so I, I don't remember Cyclone boots from any other Castlevania. I remember like gravity boots. Um, but it's such a specific name and it feels kind of weird that like, I don't want to, like, I, I assume that it is from a cast. Oh, is that a grab point? I want to, uh, I would assume that it's from another Castlevania. Ooh. Just because it's like such a specific name and like it's kind of weird, you know? Because like Cyclone Boots is so like, maybe not childish, but like it's very, it's very like Zelda, -y, you know? I think Castlevania has always been very gothic and grim, you know, a little gruesome, a little spooky. Even in the nest days, but. Let's try these out then. Oh, never mind. Lost it. Try it out next time. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, I love this. This game's combat is so fucking clean. Like, I have been commenting on it that it's been God of War enough, guys, right? But let's actually be clear here. I like this combat better than I like God of War's. I like, I like Belmont better than I like that era of Kratos. Obviously, like, the thing about Belmont is, like, any individual Belmont is only going to get one or two games. And, like, the most... Uh, like, storied character in Castlevania has only gotten, like, what, like, two, three real games? Four, I guess, maybe? Because Alucard is playable in two games, and he shows up in another two. And he's mentioned in another two. And then the only one besides him is, like, Richter. And Simon. 
but the weird thing about Simon is like the stories are so generic and like I mean they're nest stories. The stories are so generic that it's not clear if like Castlevania 9 uh which is of course not called that, but the Castlevania for the it was for the Sharp originally, I think. And then it was also got a PS uh, PS1 port. Um, but it's not clear if that Castlevania, which almost no one played, and Castlevania 4 are, like, new games that just happen to be about Simon again for some reason. Or if those are, like, just remakes. Because they might be remakes, and that might make more sense, you know? I'm just like, look, Simon did a really good job. He, he beat Dracula all by himself without any help, because Trevor had help, and Leon didn't kill Dracula. And, like, you know, that's the... F that's a... Like, the reason that Simon is such a big deal is, like, because he's the first Castlevania boy ever. But, like, I kind of choose to think of them in a grander sense. And to me, like, I, I give them all, uh, uh, like, traits based on whoever they are. And, like, one of the things with Simon is, like, he's, he's the first guy to, like, proper kick Dracula's ass for real. And then when he got cursed, he's the first Belmont to revive Dracula on his own, of his own accord, to do it again. And so, like, at the very least, he is a... Ooh, that's cool. He's a Belmont who can, at the very least, kill Dracula twice, which is more than any Belmont has ever done. Because most of them don't even do it once, apparently. But yeah. Um, I think I started doing that when I saw the attack Greatest Five, which is, I want to say... Ooh, crows. I guess, like, the Crow Witch... Um, Greatest Five is a special attack that you can do with a whip in the DS game Portrait of Ruin, I think. Portrait of Ruin. Pardon, I should enunciate my words more. Um, oh, Jesus. This is... Chupacabra? That's silly. They're not inherently evil. But they'll steal from you. They stole all my relics and powers? Oh my god. This is... This is weird. This feels like padding. This is strange. Um, but yeah, in the attack rate is five, like... One of them is Leon. His is obvious because he's the first guy to ever even say, let's kill Dracula, though. And Trevor's is obvious because he's the first guy to actually do it and kill Dracula, though he had help from Sypha and Alucard. And then Simon, like, Simon is iconic because of the whole, like, the fact that he was in the first game. Not too close, not too far. So does that mean I'm going the wrong way? It's not like I'll be able to get far because everything requires the, like, grip points. I guess if I walk up there, it'll... This is really weird. It'll stop me because I don't have any of the shit that I need to go further. Um, but yeah, for whatever reason, Juiced Belmont is included in the Attack Greatest Five. Shut up. Um, and, like, I, I don't really know why. Like... Juice's game is pretty good, but it's not, like, astounding. I feel like he's included because, like... Look. Iga and Ayame Kojima both, like, a very specific close, brand of Castlevania Protagonai. And Juice is the only Belmont like that. And, like, you know, what? Th I feel like what they really wanted is they just wanted to include... Um, oh, there we go. Uh, they wanted to include Alucard or Soma in there, but they couldn't because they aren't Belmonts and one of them hasn't been born yet. But yeah, I don't really know why they would include 
um, Juice Belmont. In front of you, can you see me? This feels kind of jank. Oh, I still have that, though. That's good. Now you have all your shit back. Thanks. That's really weird. Is that going to be like a recurring thing? Where, like, I have to get all my stuff back after it's stolen for no reason? Like, I feel like that's kind of just there just to be like... Almost to fill time, you know? Like, hey, we don't want you to see the next area yet. We need to extend this game by another, like, five minutes. So why don't we just... Uh, make you go run backtrack a little bit. Without any of your, your stuff. I guess, ostensibly, it could make an interesting... Um, like, gameplay thing of, like... Oh, hey, you need to do this next area that's going to be really hard and you don't have all your busted abilities. Like, you can't sprint, you can't super punch, you can't heal yourself, you can't do extra damage. Sucks to suck. Deal. You know? Like, that's interesting, but... Eh, I don't know about that. Word. I missed two of my life gem thingies. A weapon upgrade. I don't even. I don't even know what that is. Light flash. Ooh, that's really cool. And I got a Steve Chief Steam Achievement. This is only two in there. What is this had two. This has like nine. See, I was actually really worried because like my first my whole first session was like tutorial. Five parts. Chapter two. What is this? Or nine parts. Chapter three. Just two. Chapter four, also just two. It Kinda is a weird. sad tale of the witch who guards this fortress. A sad tale of love lost. A tale not so dissimilar to our brave hero. Yet pity is not something he can feel anymore. He is blind that's to a, um, the pity of these so-called... I think that's an Ars Goetia demon. Will be Possibly Ars Goetia. And so goodbye, once beautiful Malfas. It's just a, um, I think it's like a Victorian or Edwardian no era, like a book on demonology. It void, just has a bunch of names of demons. That love I don't know if they actually come from, like, like Judeo-Islamic faith or, like, Kabbalistic stuff or anything like that. Um, but they're commonly used as, like, a monster manual, like a bestiary. Like, I know that Castlevania and Persona both use, like, Ars Goetia demons a lot. Maybe not a lot, but sometimes. Just because, like, oh, red. Um, because, like, hey, it's a, it's, it's a monster manual, and these games are a mishmash of, like, every religion's monster manuals. So, hey, we may as well. Did he cross himself? That's cool. Uh, the tale of Brother Adolphus ends here. I'm sure he must be in the level below, but I can't get past the door. There must be another way. Maybe descending the mountain will allow me to double back and... Uh-oh. Something's coming. Descending the mountain, you say. Well, I got a whip. Let's see if we can't... If I can do it. And hey, look. Light. It's an easy, it's an easy way to get the player to go to somewhere or do something. I like it. I'd love to see it. Yeah, do your big uncharted climbs. 
I wonder how efficient doing Uncharted climbs actually are for game development. Like, is it because, like, hey, you made you made a really cool area, and now the player gets to look at it and, like, sneak alongside it and do all that stuff? Because, like, people love to do it. Is it, like, a loading screen thing? Maybe someone will make, like, a really long... Like a really long, I don't know, like a... Oh, can I go up here? No? How about here? Whoops. But there's floor down there, Gabriel. Whoops. That's embarrassing. Man. They burn away a lot of your health. Okay, so I can go here. Oh. You just go up. That wasn't where I went in. Well, now you can take that fall damage, huh? That stance is so powerful. Gesundheit. Stop that. I, lo I love the look of a good cross. I'm not Catholic. But you know what? Sometimes a cross looks fucking cool. I'm not ashamed to say it. <laughs> Do they need to spin like that? Whoa. You're cool. They remind me of the um I forget the name, but they're the uh the guys that show up in that in that catacomb in Dark Souls 2. Black Lydia ghosts. This is a boss? Damn. <laughs> Word. What are you? Sword Master! Fuck yeah. The spirit of a brave fighter never dies, according to a popular saying. Yeah, damn right. And in some cases, uh, filled with foul magic energy, the souls of slain warriors don't leave the material plane and remain trapped. Their sole mission to torment living beings. These restless souls cover themselves in ragged cloths, clothes, a remnant from their maybe a remnant from their living past. Apart from their skills, they've lost all vestige of humanity. Fucking radical. A word. We going in. I kind of just need to survive this fight, and so I kind of, like, want to just dump on him, you know? That's a straight-up Devil May Cry move. That's a million stabs. Ooh, and I got a black crystal. Or a dark crystal, rather. <laughs> hey, those crows are back. Are they gonna turn into like a guy? Pardon me, my neck hurts a little. <laughs> it's a little goofy to see Gabe just strutting around. I think that, like, a real proper 3D Castlevania never... I don't think it really happened, you know? I guess I mean, like, a Metroidvania. That's 
And like, I know that we have Dark Souls, but like, damn it. Dark Souls is not a Castlevania. It's not a Metroidvania. It can't be, by definition. Like, somehow everyone forgets this, but like, Dark Souls is not really a Metroidvania. If that were the case, then like, Resident Evil would be a Metroidvania. Because at no point in any point in any Dark Souls ever do you get a new ability that lets you run around and do stuff better. There are, like, new abilities sometimes if you're playing, like, a magic guy. But those are rare and specific to magic, and they're just alternative ways to do damage. That's just a basic, like, a, a different form of the basic spell. You never actually get a new ability like a double jump in Dark Souls. Come back later when your skills have improved. And, like, we get a few things, like, um... You know, in inside the levels, they do the little things of, like, hey, come back later when your skills have improved. But, like, ah, eh, It's not enough, you know? I want, like, a proper, like, 3D Metroidvania. And, like, we have Lament of Innocence, but, like, Lament of Innocence is only on the PS2. And I did not grow up with a PS2, so I have not played it myself. And of what I've seen, it's it's good, but it's not good enough. Though, I should pass judgment on it myself. What goes on here? What should I be doing? Should we go out this window again? Like the similar crack below? Okay. Oh, there's a little thing over there. See, even though it was so far off the ground, they didn't actually, like, change the light source to make it bigger, so it was kind of hard to see. It's an accessible, uh, and that's an accessibility thing to consider when making a game with something like that in it. Can I not go up here? Do I not have the room? Strange. But yeah, like you get you get a little bit of it, but I don't feel like that game is good enough. And like, I almost hate that I have to say that because like, fuck, that game is has so much cool stuff in it. Do I go up here? Huh. What's the take, man? I have tried hitting left, but it hasn't given me the ability to go left. Not like it does when I go right. I need to find a good place where I can... Okay, I just hit up there. Fine, whatever. I assure you I did that before. Word. A little bit of slurp. The camera's a little far out, guys. But yeah, I don't know if we ever got, like, a real good, like, straight up and down, like, Metroidvania that's, like, 3D, you know? Devil May Cry 1, kind of. The thing is that Devil May Cry 1 also has a bunch of stuff focused on, like, inventing the... Like, inventing the character action genre, and I feel like that takes up a lot of the time in DMC 1. Which is good, because that, that's fun. I like that, and it's fun, and it's good. But... It means that the Metroidvania stuff kind of takes a sideline. I do really like some of the stuff in um, uh, DMC3. Like, there are a few occasions in that game where they're like, hey, figure it out. And they give you a wide stretch of area to cover. And they just say, hey, cross this path.
Okay, now are these gonna like turn into a guy? Feathers are fluttering my feathered hair. I recognize an enemy. Should have never asked. Should have never listened to my stylist. When you say crow witch, that's not exactly what I would imagine, but that's fair. That's not where eggs come from. Oh, gnarly. They hatch into weird little crow dailons. I'm guessing that these probably are, like, bad to, like, combo, right? Or bad to, like, air combo. That's often how it would go. Let's try that, huh? Oh, I was waiting for her to do something like throw eggs at me. Oh boy. Crow Witch Malphus. Uh, once a beautiful woman, a witch who had hammered the, the, fountain, the mountains. Uh, I treated her with respect, loved her advice. She fell in love with the prince, besotted with him. She uh, love potioned him and enchanted him. But another witch entrapped him and he met a gruesome end. Mad with grief, she threw herself from the tower and landed on the rocks. Incredibly, she survived. The crows fed on her, and then she, like, merged with them. Uh, her cries of mad and rage filled the long, dark valleys below the fortress and echo. Around the tower, I was a bunch of plays of love and hope. Tale as old as time, pretty much, you know? There's this story in um, Dark Souls 2 that is, like, very understated. And, like, like most Dark Souls stories, it just, like, it just shows up and, like, you could miss it because you just never read like a uh, uh, like somebody's gloves or helmet or whatever. But I always really liked the the story of um, oh man, now I'm forgetting it. I, I want to say Aldia, but that's not his name. In Dark Souls 2. You know the armor set in Dark Souls 2 that's like on the box art? And not on the box art, it's like in the menus. Yeah, it was. And he was supposed to be like rescuing some other girl. Something like that. I can't remember the name. But it, it's just the set that looks like the Elite Knight armor. Except it's red instead of blue. And it's a little thinner. My ability to catch those is bigger than I would have thought. Ooh, sweet. So this is a totally different thing. Like I guess that you have to you probably have to wait until you like get through enough phases to do that again, but like wow, that's cool. I like this. Also, it's not clear how big that climb is. Gnarly. And now we only have one of these fuckers to deal with. I like that. Interesting. It's kind of weird. That's gnarly. So did I not uh, capitalize on that and I didn't damage the bird enough? Because that's kind of lame if that's the case. Ah, she's crowing me.
Word. The, the act of throwing the eggs back at this big fucking stupid bird is kind of silly, I will say. Like, it serves you right for vomiting your eggs at me. That's not even where they come from. I assume they're your eggs, considering that they hatch children that kind of look like you. What you doing? Cool. I gotta get this out of here, sorry. Witch child. Half bird, half human, our progeny of the crow witch Malphus. Yeah, I think Malphus is a Arscoetia demon. Um, I know that she also shows up in DMC5 as a boss. She's the boss that, like, initially is hassling V, and then V gets his ass kicked by, and then Nero has to fight it. So V never fights, like, his, his like, rivalry bird guy. Uh, the witch children can breathe fire and are volatile, oftentimes dying in a blazing explosion. Uh... Like most magically summoned entities, their ex existence is short-lived, and they tend to die naturally a few days after their quote-unquote birth. Oh, this, this is the time. Oh, we're good. I realize that I've gone over the time limit that I usually set for these. Because I normally do like, what is it, like 40 minutes, but... First one back. We can do a longer one. Nice. Bleeding crows is such a cool fucking idea. God, that's so radical. She's like, not again. Oh, hey. What's up, horse? Man, I did this whole chapter in like one episode. Crazy. Short chapter. Radical. Oh, I missed the weapon upgrade. Cool. So this game actually isn't going to be as long as I thought it was. Because initially I saw that like... Because you see chapter one, it's like, okay, well, chapter one's probably going to be shorter. And then chapter two is nine parts. And you're like, ooh, are they all going to be like that? And then chapters three and four were each, like, one or two parts, I think. And the, like, parts that each chapter is comprised of are loosely equivalent. So, yeah, like, chapter two is twice as long as chapter one. And then chapter three is a fifth the size of chapter two. The same deal with chapter four. It's about the same size as three. So depending on how this goes, I don't think it'll be an issue like the length of this game. I mentioned because I'm playing through Valkyria Chronicles and I had no idea how long that game was going to end up. I really should have known because I, I can check, but like I was literally just like, hey, I want to play a game like a Valkyria Chron. Well, I wanted to play a Fire Emblem, but those aren't on PC. I want to let's play one because I can... It's a whole thing. Anyway, the other game I'm playing is Oblivion, which is also notorious for being not short. Um, but yeah. So I've been Alfred. Uh, this has been Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I'm back, officially. Um, so yeah. I hope you all have a good day. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming back. I hope you had a good time. Bye. <laughs>